why. <laughs> um, it's been a minute. I, I hope you're doing well. Um, I wanted to come on today and share a video with you that's unscripted, so it may be a little scattered and all over the place, and thank you for bearing with me if that's the case. Um, but I felt like it was time to kind of talk with you about the last year and a half or so has been. Um, what's happened, where I went, where I've been, um, and some updates for the future. Um, before I begin all that, I want to say hi, I've missed you. Um, if you're here from my TikTok community, I have missed you so much. <laughs> I really hope you're doing well. Um, and if you're new here, hi, my name is Kestrel. Uh, I go by Kestrel the Nature Witch online. Um, welcome, it's nice to have you here. Um, this is something new that I'm doing. <laughs> so um, we're, we're walking on a new path here. And so um, welcome, I hope you'll join us. Um, where do you even begin? <laughs> I think, well, first of all, let's address the elephant in the room, right? You'll notice I look different. Um, I am not wearing the hood. I am wearing regular clothing. Um, and so, hi, hello, this is me without the hood. <laughs> um, we'll talk about that a little more further into the video, but just to address up front, the thing that's most obvious, uh, I look different. Um, there's a reason for that, so we'll talk about that more. Um, I think where I'll start is a little bit of a timeline of what happened in the last year. Um, for those who are joining from my TikTok coven and TikTok community, you'll know that um, I had to step back from the social media outlets, particularly TikTok, a lot over the last year and a half. And I want to start by saying I am so sorry that I had to just disappear multiple times on you. Um, I hate, I hate doing that. Um, it's, <laughs> I wish it could have panned out differently. And for those of you who have been so patient and kind, thank you so much. Um, it's been a blessing to have you, your support and your care over the last year and a half. Um, and so your patience has meant the world. Um, I'm going to try to keep this as condensed as possible. I don't want to drag this out and make it a super long video, but I also want to give you context as to what has happened and why things have played out the way they have. Um, and then we'll talk about what's coming in the future. Um, so, okay, let's start at the beginning, right? Um, so I started posting on TikTok in August of 2022, and my account grew incredibly fast. Um, I gained about 10K followers in two weeks, which for me was huge. Um, I was so excited. It was such a cool experience. I had never had a following like that before or a community like that. And so it was really exciting. Um, unfortunately, I wasn't prepared for the impact that was gonna have on me in terms of my physical, mental, and emotional well-being, as well as my energy. Um, because of how rapidly I grew, I very quickly became responsible for showing up online a lot more frequently than I had in the past. There was no really easing into it, um, and I wasn't ready for that. Um, I didn't know what that actually entailed, <laughs> um, you know, like, being a content creator is often glamorized online and it's getting better with a lot of content creators coming forward and sharing their stories around this. Um, but there, at the time I didn't have much knowledge about the behind the scenes work and the energetic uh, impacts that that has. And so um, I wasn't prepared for the amount of responsibility that came with it. I also wasn't prepared for the not so great 
messages and comments and emails that I would start getting. Um, I got a lot of messages, as I'm sure you can imagine, that were highly inappropriate and entitled and, um, you know, basically demanding very specific kinds of relationships and fav favors from me. And then people getting angry when I would not respond or, or would just straight up decline. Um, and I also got a lot of, you know, um, threats from people. Um, so I wasn't prepared for any of that with how quickly I grew. Um, I've learned a lot over the last year and a half, so I feel more equipped now. Um, but at the time, I wasn't prepared for any of that. And so I tried my best to keep up. Uh, but by October of 2022, um, I hit a wall energetically and I had to take a step back. I took a few weeks, I think it was like three-ish weeks, something like that, as a break. Um, Reevaluated a little and then jumped right back in in November. Uh, and then I had to take another break in January, tried to jump back in in February. And then by April of 2023, um, I had to take a huge step back and I disappeared for several months. Um, I did try to return one more time in August of 2023, which did not last very long. Um, and I have not been active on TikTok since. Um, well, that's not true. I did post one reading recently. I think it was late January. Um, but I haven't been online frequently. And so um, that's kind of a brief timeline for anyone who wasn't aware of it. Um, that's not why I'm making this video though. I, I wanted to come on here and give context as to why that happened. Outside of, you know, what I just shared, there, there were much bigger things that have occurred in the last year and a half that forced me to really stop showing up online. And it really forced me to reevaluate what I was doing. Um, and so I wanna talk about that with you. Well, I want to I want to give this disclaimer first. Um, I'm not going to go super deep into details here um, because a lot of it is quite personal to me. So I hope you can understand that you know the amount of detail I share is what I'm comfortable sharing, and um, I'm not really open to talking about details further. Um, your respect around that is really appreciated, and um, thank you. So, okay, October 2022, um, around the time I took my first break, my health very rapidly began to decline. Um, I was lethargic, I was having a really hard time doing normal everyday things. Um, I would sleep long hours, uh, but wake up feeling like I had not slept at all. Um, and there was a plethora of other symptoms that were arising. Um, I tried to push through um, and to, you know, kind of what they say, you know, like just bite the bullet and keep going. Um, and unfortunately, because of that, by January 2023, late January 2023, I hit a point of serious illness. Um, I basically my body and my mind completely shut down. Um, I could not do basic functions. Things like feeding myself or brushing my teeth were incredibly difficult um, and I had to take a serious step back um, from what I was trying to do. So I took a break and I um, you know, I tried to get myself back on track and not only did that not work, um, it made it worse. Um, mostly because I was trying to force myself to be productive um, and I wasn't listening to what my body was trying to tell me. So by February, um, everything shut down and I could not function at all. 
it got so bad that I had to go on medical leave from my job. And so, you know, I, I hit this point where I just couldn't do anything, um, including show up online. Um, so February came, I hit that point, and I had a, a little bit of a, a backlog of videos I had created, so I continued to post. Um, I stopped doing lives, and then when April arrived, I went on hiatus again, and I announced I would be on hiatus because I was traveling, and so I took that time off while I was traveling to try to focus on, you know, taking care of myself and getting myself into a better spot. And I got back from that trip, and when I tried to jump back into content creation, I got a serious, loud, solid no from my body and my mind and my soul. Um, every part of me was screaming, absolutely not. And so I had to stop. Um, I had to really sit down and take the time to not only think through what I need to be doing here on in the online space, um, but I also really needed to focus on getting well. Um, I took the last year or so to really focus on my health and my mental health um, and to get better. And, um, you know, I went on medical leave from March to June. Um, and during that time, I was working with multiple medical providers and mental health providers to try to get myself into a better place. And um, it was working, you know, like um, I was doing a lot of, a lot of work, um, but it was working and I was making progress. It was slow um, and it was painful, but it was progress. My medical leave ended in June, the beginning of June, and I was supposed to return to work. And the day I returned to my job, they laid me off. Um, so I became unemployed, I lost my health insurance and my ability to work with most of the providers I was working with. Um, and, you know, I know some of you are probably going to comment this, so I want to address this too. Um, I know what they did was illegal. Um, I got laid off because of my medical condition. Um, they also made me sign a contract saying that I would not essentially call them out. Um, in order to get my last paycheck, and I also know that's illegal. Um, I did consult a lawyer, and they advised me that the impact that suing them would have on my mental and physical health was not worth the financial payout that I would likely get, um, because this was not a big organization, it's a nonprofit. Um, I'm not going to name them because I'm not trying to get sued for libel, um, but because of that particular instance of me getting laid off, um, I, lost, I lost my job, I lost my source of income, my health insurance, my ability to work with most of the providers I was working with, and um, that was the beginning of June 2023 and I still have not found a new job. So as I'm sure you can imagine, the financial impact of that has been severe. Um, I'm doing the best I can and, you know, I am actively looking for work, um, but the job market is not ideal at the moment. Um, it's very competitive and it's been very difficult to find anything. So that set me back quite a bit in terms of my ability to focus on my health and get better. Um, luckily, I had one provider who is amazing, who was willing to work with me despite not having health insurance and the means to pay large sums of money for their services. Um, and they have helped me a lot. And so since June, 
Um, I've done a lot of work and I am finally in a place where I am pretty stable. Um, my health has gotten much better. My mental health has gotten much better. Um, you know, I still have bad days, uh, but it's not every day like it was, and it's not as debilitating as it was. Again, I have days that are really hard, um, and it's really hard to function, but it is not nearly as often as it was this time last year. Um, and so over the course of the last year and a half, that's what's been going on. Um, I know that it probably felt really bad for me to just disappear multiple times after trying to return. And so I'm really sorry that that happened the way it did. Um, I hope this context can help offer a little bit of insight as to why things happened the way they did. Every single time I tried to return to TikTok, something got in the way. First time, it was my health. Second time, it was my health, but worse. Um, and this continued until we reached August 2023. And um, because the health issues were not loud enough for me to get the picture, <laughs> um, I returned in August and almost immediately a s scammer impersonating me created an account or rather changed an account they already had to be me um, and they had over a hundred thousand followers and they scammed several community members out of money and they also sent particular horrific messages wishing horrible events on people in which they would be unalived for calling them out. Um, that was kind of the final straw for me um, with TikTok because this person was using my name and my image and my content to send unalive threats to people. Um, and TikTok did nothing about it. This is particularly bad on Instagram and TikTok, um, but so many community members reported this account and TikTok did nothing. Um, to me, looking back on all these events that every time I tried to return to TikTok, something came up and got in the way, um, this was some pretty loud messaging from my guides and my ancestors and the deities I work with and just the, the universe as a whole. <laughs> Um, that I was doing it wrong, that this was not the right way to do this. Um, and it got progressively worse each time until I got the picture. So that leads us up to the present day, present moment. Um, because of this experience and everything that I've learned in the last year and a half, um, I'm going to be making some changes in the way that I show up online. Um, the first one we've already kind of addressed, um, my appearance is different. Um, I'm not wearing the hood and um, while I'm not going to say I'll never wear the hood again, I love wearing the hood, it's really fun. Um, I'm sure sometimes I'll bring, I'll bring it back in. I want to be able to show up here as myself authentically and fully. And as fun as the hood is and as much as it helps me channel a certain aspect of myself that I really enjoy embodying, I was also using it as a way to hide myself. I don't want to do that anymore. So I'll be showing up online in normal clothes as is. Um, so you get to see more of Kestrel. Um, I hope that is something that you will enjoy. <laughs> Another change is um, this. Hi, hello, this is new. Um, I am starting to post on YouTube. There's a plethora of reasons I made this choice. Um, but the, the main reason is it feels like the safest platform to share content without risk of scammers stealing my, my work <laughs> and ripping people off. Um, so that brings me to the next change. Um, and this change may be a little bit shocking and disappointing to some of you. And so in advance, I want to say, I'm sorry. Um, I hope you'll stick around after this announcement to hear the new fun things we're going to be doing. Um, but I feel like it's important to announce this first 
um, and that is I will not be returning to TikTok live. Um, I loved doing the lives when I first started. They were so much fun. Um, but by the time I stopped for the most extended period of time, the lives had become a pretty unsafe space. Um, you know, anything from spammers, um, as well as scammers coming in and trying to, you know, scam people during my live. Um, but I think the thing that was most upsetting were the people who were trolling and just being absolutely cruel for no reason. Um, you know, when we're in those lives and we're working with the cards, that can get really personal. And there were times where someone, you know, I'd be giving a reading to someone and a troll would come in and just, you know, it was, it was a personal thing. It got personal. And these trolls would come in and just say horrific shit to people. Um, and that's not the kind of space I'm trying to make. So, um... I am turning my attention and focus towards platforms and spaces that will create the safe kind of space I'm trying to make. Um, and unfortunately, TikTok and TikTok Live is not that space. Um, they have become a platform that is a safe haven for trolls and bigots and scammers and all kinds of horrible shit. And it's also become pretty much a shopping app at this point. Um, and you know, uh, on top of all that, I got shadow banned before I went on my latest hiatus as well. I'm not sure why. I didn't, you know, break any rules. Um, I didn't get any notification that I was violating community guidelines, nothing. Um, I just got shadow banned for whatever reason. Um, and so my views for my videos that I was putting so much effort into dropped from, you know, anywhere from 30, 40K to 170 to 200K views to a couple hundred to a couple thousand maybe. Um, and then when I was going live, my subscribers on TikTok weren't getting notified that I was live. Um, and so it's just really discouraging to put, you know, so much time and effort and energy into creating something to share with you all and being shadow banned for no fucking reason. <laughs> um, for those of you who were subscribers and were part of the TikTok coven, um, we're creating a similar space elsewhere and I would love to invite you there. Even if you weren't part of the subscriber community or the TikTok community and you're new here and this feels good for you, you're welcome to join. Um, and I'm gonna talk about that in just a second. Um, the other update I have for you, which may also be a little disappointing for some of you, is um, my content's gonna be changing. Um, I'm personally really excited about it. Um, I'm gonna be expanding into more topics and things like that, like my practice, um, different forms of divination, um, other types of works that we can do, like deity work, um, book reviews, etc. Um, but that also means we won't be working with the cards nearly as much as we were. Um, a big part of why I got so sick and why I got burnt out to the level I did is I was trying to channel a message every single day and then take the time to edit the video and put all the text in and you know um, it just became too much it was overwhelming and it was a lot of energy that i was channeling and not giving myself time to recover from so i hope you'll be ex excited about that as i am <laughs> um, but i also know that for a lot of you working with the cards was special um, we're still going to do that the cards aren't going away <laughs> um, but it's not going to be every day um, it just won't be as often as it was. Um, so now that, you know, the um, cat's out of the bag, so to speak, uh, I have some fun things to share with you that um, I hope you'll be as excited about as I am. The first one being the community that I just mentioned that we're building elsewhere. Um, it's very similar to our TikTok coven and our, you know, our TikTok lives, um, but it's in a safer container. 
um, and that's on Patreon. So um, the, you know, there's different levels and for our Forest Coven level, I think it's actually a dollar less per month than the TikTok subscription. Um, I wanted to try to make it as affordable as possible. So um, we do the same thing, but it's <laughs> way more fun. Um, we get to talk about all kinds of topics that we would never be able to talk about on TikTok because we would get banned in like two seconds flat. Um, you know, like taboo topics around magic and being a human and etc. Um, and we also work with the cards in there too, still. And um, we, we do a live every week like we used to on TikTok, but it's in a much safer container. We don't have to worry about trolls. We don't have to worry about getting banned. We don't have to worry about, you know, scammers and spammers, like none of that stuff. Um, it's in a very safe container and it's really fun. It's really, really fun. So um, if that's something you feel interested in exploring, um, I'll share a link down below in the description. And yeah, I'll share a link down below. <laughs> The second announcement is um, I've been working on a shop in the background for the last few months um, and I'm really excited about it. It's something that um, kind of just came to me randomly one day. Um, it was, I don't know where it came from, <laughs> but it came in and I was like, that sounds fun. And so I started doing it. Um, and basically, at the moment, it's mostly moon water ritual sprays for different kinds of things. So I have one for protection, I have one for divination, um, I have one for calming and grounding, and one for positivity. Um, I also do seasonal ones, so um, right now I think the ones I have up are Spring Equinox and Imbolc. Um, but it's been really fun to make them, and I've had such positive feedback from those who have ordered them. Thank you so much to everyone who has purchased sprays from me, by the way. It means the world. And I love making them. They're so fun to make. <laughs> um, I love making them for you. So thank you so much for your support and your kind words. It means the literal world. Um, you know, I want to preface this by saying though, like, uh, these are small batch creations. I make them in a ritual space and um, I'm the only person making them. So they take time and they only come out in small batches. So um, thank you for your patience should you decide you want some. <laughs> um, I actually can show you one, hold on. Um, so this one, see if I can get it to focus, there we go. Give you some tippy tappies, we haven't done that in a minute, huh? So this one's called Fuck You Pay Me and it's a prosperity spray. Um, I especially made this one for those of us who are, you know, content creators, freelancers, uh, sole proprietors, contractors, um, those of us who, you know, sometimes work a job and don't get paid for months, even though we're supposed to get paid within 30 days, because I know that happens. So um, this is just an example of what, what I've been making. I'm actually going to spray a little bit because why not? brush some of that towards you, send some of that fuck you pay me your way so you get some extra cash. <laughs> um, this one's made with new moon and Capricorn water because money. Um, anyway, that's something I've been working on in the background and it's been really fun and nourishing and I'm really excited to share more with you on that. Um, I'm starting to make candles next, ritual candles. And I'll slowly be adding things to the shop as time goes on. Um, so if you have an idea for what you want, by the way, feel free to drop it in the comments. Um, some of you have incredible ideas, so um, I'm always happy to hear new new thoughts. Um, they're very welcome, so feel free to share if you want to. I think that's everything. Um, thank you for taking the time to sit with me and catch up and have a chat. Um, I would love to know how you are in the comments. Um, I haven't been able to catch up with you in so long. Um, you know, I will also be posting on other channels as I can. 
Um, I'm slowly implementing things until I find a good rhythm and a way to do things sustainably. But um, I'll link those social channels below to my Instagram, my TikTok. Um, I know as of right now, there is a potentially very real um, possibility that TikTok will be banned in the United States. Um, we'll see what happens. As of right now, I'm still planning to post there, but if it gets banned, then of course, obviously, I won't be able to. Um, anyway, I'll link those things down below. Um, you can follow there if you want to. Um, I just appreciate you so much. Thank you for taking the time to sit with me. Thank you for being so patient with me over the last year and a half while I went through it. <laughs> um, I really went into the underworld for a while um, and I am slowly emerging uh, a very different person. And so I'm excited to walk this new path with you. I hope you'll join me and um, I just am grateful for you. Thank you for being here. I hope you have a beautiful rest of your day. And until next time, may your path be filled with ease and joy. And I'll see you soon. Bye.